So let's quickly look at... Okay, so there's Dolores, there's Timmy. My plan is to find everyone and there's the girl. So first things first, uh, Dolores, right? Water bottle, if I can, okay? So I really want to do... Let's go here. Let's her, water bottle. I'm not grabbing a lot. Come on. Okay, so now we need little Timmy. I think I've got everyone. Timmy is small. Uh, okay, so now we need food. Okay, there's lots here, lots here. Grab, grab, grab! Okay, let's get some weapons. Wherever they may be. Gas mask. Weapon. Checker board. I can make one more supply run. Lock. Food. Food. Shit! I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. Even if I don't make it. Shit. Oh, did I get water? I don't know. Didn't get the briefcase. Didn't get the map. Didn't get so many things. Holy shit. Whew. It's always so stressful, but it takes up like... like Half the time to get all the people. But we got an achievement. Get them all. We got everyone. Let's go. Family guy. <laughs> all right. So we got everyone. Uh, definitely that. Don't have the brief briefcase. I think this is the first one that I don't have the briefcase. But anyway. Let's see. All of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together, we, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. So we got canned soup. We got a, hell, a med kit that I don't remember. Wait, was it stashed here? We can't remember bringing these supplies down here at the shelter, but we're not complaining. We probably should have stocked it better. Anyway, so we got a free supply, so, um, not supply kit, a med kit. Oh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Plenty of water means uh, that we don't have to worry about that for some time. Did I get water? I... Woo! So I got the people and I got the water, but I do not have so many other things, such as the flashlight, the map, etc. So, you know what? Day one, let's start, let's go. We really miss the life we had, the space, the, sk the sky, the food, more food. We wish we could go back to a time before this damn bomb dropped. Okay. They all look good. They all look good. Day two. You can't look rough already. Come on. He's growing a beard already. What we make of today will be out tomorrow, so let's make it right. There isn't much going on with Ted. Uh, they should all be fine. This is... <laughs> I can't remember the last time. I had so much writing because I had everyone. Are we gonna send someone out? Um... Yes, why not? I wanna send someone out every round, basically. There has been no radio chatter uh, about airdrops from the military. It's about time! All those taxes had to pay for a, cr for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we get, head out to get them? <gasps> I completely misclicked. Okay. I'm too much in a hurry. Okay. It was too dangerous to get out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. Uh, water is what... Where is water when Ted needs it? Getting something to drink. Is there one thing we need water? And... Okay, so everyone wants water. Oh my gosh, now that I've rescued everyone, it's going to take a bottle of water per day when everyone is thirsty. Let's send out Ted first. Please come back. From my experience, whenever we send out Dolores, Dolores doesn't come back. Dolores doesn't come back. So, we send out Ted. It's horrible of me. <laughs> Alright, gang. What's up? Ted left. No longer thirsty, no longer thirsty, no longer thirsty. Easy! We can barely breathe in the damned shelter. For the last couple of hours, the situation has been getting noticeably worse. There might be even wrong with the, something wrong with the ventilation system. So let's use a can of spray, bug spray, to get rid of that awful smell in the ventilation system. It's used, we don't have it, now what? We decided to spray the hell out of that vent just to be on the safe side. Turned out it was the right thing to do. A couple of mutated insects fell out followed by a gust of fresh air. Mary Jane seems fine, fine and okay. This is going good. Ever since we jumped into our fall fallout shelter, we've been wondering about that other door in the shelter. Should it even be there? 
or here. Let's use the gun and clear it out. I think there was mutated bugs and stuff. Ooh, looking roughed up there, Mary Jane. But Timmy is a boss. Timmy is like sane. What's the first thing to do when, uh, when you open a door? Leading to a place you don't know. Open fire. Bam. Bam. Our bullet struck the wall and guess what? We hit a water pipe. We were able to fill a few bottles of water that trickled from the bullet holes. Nice. We got water. Thirsty. Uh, food. And thirsty. So, Timmy pre uh, prefers apple juice. So, water. Wait, what? So, she's hungry and thirsty. She also, she only wants water. Let's handle her first. So, she wants water. Hungry and thirsty. And Timmy wants water. Okay. Spiders seem to be uh, oper operating under the assumption that they all have the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. If someone gets bitten or sick. I'm gonna you um, then I'll use the med kit, but I'm not gonna make uh, use the med kit to just like save whatever. No one is sick. So what happened? We decided we get rid of the spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for the for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tr tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. So no longer anything. Let's go Mary Jane. Dolores, not thirsty and she's hungry. So both of them are hungry. Damn guys, <laughs> calm down. The dreadful silence is being becoming boring. So let's use the, the portable radio to entertain ourselves. But hopefully, thank God it can't be used up. I'm just waiting for raiders and stuff. Isn't Ted supposed to be back yet? Okay. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. We can probably listen to some music. They will still play music out there, don't they? No longer, no longer, and doesn't need anything. Let's go. I'm moving quite quickly with, the, with these things, guys. Uh, if you do not know what the story is about or what's happening at the moment, you can also watch my previous playthroughs in the description below. It's all, it's really tired. It's really weird when you get the feeling that something is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets and no one's hiding there. Is there something alive down there? Let's see. Hopefully nothing. Let's see, let's see. Nothing. The gun is still not broken. I'm happy about that. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite, quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding in the in one of those nasty little holes. Everyone has to drink something. So Mary Jane is thirsty. 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 My peeps are thirsty, man. We had the most curious visitors today. One of them was making the sound of a galloping horse using a pair of rocks and hitting them against each other. I do not have a map. Ah! These things are awful trading. And I don't really want to trade, but if I don't trade, they will just take our stuff, which didn't happen. They might take our stuff or the people. We couldn't contain our laughter and our guests took offense. They ran off shouting that our answers were, uh, were rodents and smelled like the forest fruits. How rude. No longer thirsty, no longer thirsty, and he is hungry. Let's feed the child. Every new smell attacks our noses in this little shelter instantly. There isn't much we can miss. So when a single brick fell off from the re re wall revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole out. Terrible stench hole. I don't want to risk anyone, especially getting sick. I, I doubt they'll find food or anything. Oh, he got sick. Okay, but I have learned that you can weather the storm. Uh, you can weather the the illness by just like doing nothing. Maybe hopefully, he got bullets. Okay, that's good. And he, go I sent him out with nothing. I just realized. We decided to ignore the whole distension and anything that might happen because of it. We've taken enough risk already. We ended up feeling a bit unwell and later on we heard something moving in the hole. A few hours after that, the smell was gone. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We spotted an untouched stone store with many products inside. So we got food cans. Whoa. A real treat in these apocalyptic times. When we were about to reach it, a terrible noise made us... 
Stopping our tracks, something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the store and destroying it completely. After dust settled, we realized we were looking at a spaceship. We were looking at a spaceship. Just like in Timmy's comics, could it be sort of from Mars? Then why does it bear American flag on the side and the logo of something called Astro Citizen? Could it be infiltration? Crafty little alien buggers. Under a bench of metals, uh, space junk, we found a tired old teddy bear and some sp supplies. The bear looked like looked disappointed. We ended up turning him er around. We could not handle his judgment, but the nice. <laughs> wow! He got so much stuff. He got playing cards. He went to a jewelry shop for that. Um, we got bullets. Nice. And two cans and two waters. Wow. We spotted some sort of a vehicle just down the street, but couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expeditions will prove more fruitful. So he's hungry, tired, and infected with something. She's hungry. Uh, hungry. No longer hungry. So everyone wants food, but not you. I'm not going to treat him just yet. He can wither it. Let's send someone else out. I really don't want to lose anyone. So let's go. We can keep sitting on our backsides in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from the, possible from the radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would be such a pain in the neighborhood? Let's use the radio and see what happens. Okay, next day, and we're sending out, I don't want to, but to me. Or should we sacrifice the doors because she never comes back? Let's do it. We made contact. The military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do now is sit and wait patiently. So he's still hungry. Um, doesn't drink anything. Has what? If they doesn't drink anything. So he's hungry and thirsty. Uh, no longer hungry. Everyone has to drink sometimes. Thirsty. She is, she is no longer hung, hung, hungry. She's just thirsty. And everyone is thirsty and he's hungry. But I'm not going to treat him just yet. What does this say? Await further instructions from the military. And this is? Okay, a sketch. <laughs> Let's send out... Dolores probably won't come back. What are we sending her with? Let's send her with suit. Hopefully she can like weather the storm with some suit. Okay, she's out. She's gone. Dolores is on her way. Equipment. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So he's hungry. Um, and no longer thirsty. So he's just hungry. And nothing bothers the rest. Let's feed him. Hopefully he doesn't die. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more. Maybe discover it uh, if anyone else made it to safety. The radio is so important. Holy shit. The phone rings, so it's going to ask us to go outside and pick it up to see what happens. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Keeps coughing, isn't hungry, has rested. Mary Jane seems to be fine today. Um, and he is good. So everyone is good, right? I'm going to take one more day and not treat Ted. Hopefully he doesn't die. Let's send Tamiya. It's just to answer a phone call. Nothing will really happen. So I'm just going to leave it. I know I'm not taking a lot of chances because I really want to end this video with all of them still intact. It's way too dangerous to go outside randomly uh, to a ringing phone in the middle of a radioactive ghost town. So he has recovered from his sickness. You see, let's go. Mary Jane is very thirsty and has to drink something. So she is hungry and thirsty. And he is thirsty and hungry. Dude, dude. Hungry, thirsty, hungry, thirsty. Easy. That trash can of ours is getting uh, disgusting. The good news is we don't have much of an appetite. When we see it, so, we, so we're saving some food. Yet for some reason, we would like to tidy this mess up. And I don't have anything to tidy it up. Hopefully someone else doesn't get sick. Day 16. Let's see what happens. Nothing. Oh, there's a cockroach! Yuck! A mutant cockroach. Oh my, that thing is huge! And there is another one. Roaches everywhere. We're doomed. We we'll already feel all dirty. Um, he needs to drink and is hungry. 
Nothing, nothing. Okay, so he is hungry and thirsty. The supplies are going quick. The other day we heard a quiet knock on the door, but we, when we opened, we only found a suitcase on the doorstep and there was no one around. It is inside, but it sure looks like a, uh, it's meant for us. Should we check what's inside? No, because the last time something bad happened when we checked inside. So I'm knocking. Mutant cockroach still there. Will we get mutant Mary Jane again? <laughs> we have no idea who left this uh, now that you can't trust anybody. We're not risking our lives for it. No longer uh, isn't hungry anymore. Uh, fine and fine. Everyone is fine. This is fantastic. We're just waiting for Dolores. Please come back. Our sorry excuses for a dinner was interrupted by a raspy voice coming from outside saying, Wanna buy a rock? We calmed down when we realized the voice belonged to old man Jim, who used to live in our town. Well, at least we think we heed it. We just never quite figured out where he stayed. He should probably answer the, his question. It's impolite to keep people waiting like this. I've never gotten this scenario, so I'm gonna say yes. Please, please don't take our stuff or my children. Nothing. Not even something added. Old Jim was always lovely and friendly to everyone. So of course we opened the door and fulfilled his request. He winked at us and told us the first no, rock is for free, which we were happy to hear. A, a nice rock is a good thing to have. Probably for defensive measures. We should get Mary Jane something to drink. So she is thirsty. What about Ted? Oh, uh, doesn't need much, but he should drink. And Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. So drink, drink. I've got enough water for, for the kids. A traveling salesman paid us a visit today. He introduced himself as Willie. Apparently, business can do well even after the end of the world. So, we are running short of food. So, let's uh, give the checkers board. Because I don't know what's used for this. But that is only for water. Definitely not these two. So, playing cards for food. Let's go. Fair exchange. Okay. Oh, shit. She's back. And she's green. We made a deal with the salesman and helped him pack. He strolled away into the wasteland like he knew exactly where he was going next. We were glad to see Dolores come back safely from the wasteland. It's quite a long walk from our house to the docks. We knew of a promising warehouse in the area. It survived the blast, but the sea wave drowned half of it. We were hoping it wasn't better half. Whoa! She got so much water! <laughs> Water, water everywhere and finding empty bottles to store it was a, not a problem. The problem was the water we filled them with was kind of salty. The vehicle down the street looked like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar. Who could the owner be? We kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to take a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. So Ted should drink something. Dolores is sick and all the bad shit. So he should drink something, uh, no longer thirsty, uh, but she's hungry. So thirsty, hungry, hungry, no longer thirsty, very hungry. So what? Drink. So thirsty, hungry, hungry, hungry. Okay, so everyone's hungry except you. I have so much water. Let's give her some water even though she didn't ask for it. The state of the uh, wasteland remains unknown. Who are we sending out? We're just like sending out everyone and gathering stuff. Uh, we always wanted a pet, but we just couldn't decide what to get. A cat, a dog, no matter. We have our very own cockroach a colony now. Unless we want them to stay and play fetch. We should start doing something to drive them out through the fetch of something. Oh my goodness. Whoo, cockroach, cockroach, cockroach. Are we going to use the gun again? Sure. I should not have used that spray can for the stench. Shit. Okay. The gun is still intact. That's all I'm hoping for. We've won the battle and maybe even the, the whole war. After the massacre was over, we tidied up the cockroach remains and dumped them next to our shelter door. Let that be a warning to all the our other insects out there. Don't mess with us. Dolores is not eaten for a while. Uh, so she's hungry. Um, just hungry. So Dolores is hungry. Okay. This is going swimmingly. Who do we send out? 
Let's send out Mary Jane, this time with the checkers board to see what happens. I'm curious to see if you take the checkers board, what will happen. Am I sending out too many people though? Because I really want to survive this. It's been three weeks. Please survive your illness, Hulk. Mary Jane went outside, let's hope that she hurries back. So she's still hungry. Um. Shit. Do I give her the med kit? Ted survived it, so... Uh, he's hungry and thirsty, so hungry, hungry, thirsty. Hungry, hungry, thirsty. You know what? Let's give her the medkit. She goes out of this game way too quickly. The military is transmitting again. They said the first step is to locate any remaining survivors. And we don't have a freaking flashlight. Shit. <laughs> I really want to survive with everyone. The signal has to wait besides they do they even know how much a flatlight batteries cost uh, especially especially in this economy the lord needs more time to rest no longer hungry or scared from the illness and water so hungry thirsty uh, he isn't hungry so hungry thirsty thirsty and nothing else hungry thirsty <clears throat> thirsty i think and nothing else okay time to listen to some radio chatter <clears throat> Ted still looks like he's got a toupee on his head. Nothing new. Okay. Oh, damn it! So something blew up inside the radio and... Oh, my. We lost the radio. This is not going well. Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Has rested, is no longer thirsty, and to me seems okay. Shit, man. A sleazy looking trader carrying an equally scruffy bag on his shoulders paid us a visit. He offered us a simple one time deal for just one can of soup. Um, are we gonna get Sharikov in? You know what? I feel like we're gonna get Sharikov eventually. So, okay. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything, uh, anything sight unseen, and we're not about to start now. So, we didn't buy the cat basically. Some water for Timmy would be nice. And he should eat something. Ted is fine. And there's nothing bother bothering the Laura. So he's hungry and thirsty. There is never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland. But it seems like uh, this will be become a necessity in this new world of ours. So we thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later. He planned a trip outside. And planned a trip outside. Before we could make the th third step beyond the shelter doors. An unknown creature start started growling at us in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. I don't want the, the creature to take anyone, and I don't know what, what happens if you like say no. So there's a, a, ring, a ringing phone again. A quick shot with a, a rifle was more than enough to scare away. Let's just see if we still have the rifle. We still have the rifle. That's what's important. Uh, he's thirsty and he's hungry. Um, if there's one thing she needs is water, and he's nothing. So thirsty, hungry, thirsty. Okay. This is going well. This is going thirsty, hungry, thirsty. This is going well. I think we had so we had thought a phone call or a thing of the past. Let's send Ted out to go and answer it. We might as well. Hey, she's back, and I like the do. I like the hair. Does she bring back more water? Cause we don't need more water. But I didn't see anything else. She brought the checkerboard with. Uh, when we answered the phone, we could be clearly hear a gasp of relief from the, from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. So we've heard this, but they lost they then lost uh, contact, and w something happened on their side. And we sh we hope to hear from them soon. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning. We tried our luck at a nearby bar, uh, fittingly called the World's End. <laughs> fittingly called. Usually, such a respectable family. Uh, like our own would never go there, but this time we gave it a shot to hope shot hoping to find some some unclean goods So we got a can of soup and we got water uh, you, We did not expect to find any clean water in the bar and what it's a bar Surprise you didn't find alcohol which can go there Who would have known that tomato soup used to be such a popular snack in a bar? Yeah, and we found playing cards from what we we actually traded the playing cards and now we got them back from what we could tell the atomic blossoms are after the poker game cool 
I'm, I'm sorry I'm not reading all of it, but it's like it's self-explanatory in a way. Ted is no longer thirsty, is not, isn't hungry. Mary Jane could use a little food and she needs to rest. Dolores is fine and Timmy's okay. So she just needs food. Okay, so you just need food. There you go, little girl. And who are we sending out next? Are we going to send out someone? I think we skip one day and see what happens. Playing a game or two might be a good way to relieve the mood and take our minds off the problems of today and tomorrow. And hey, playing games is good for you. So why not give it a try every now and then? Oh boy. No, we've got no way to make contact with the military. This is bad. We played the I Spy and it was pretty fun for the first three minutes after that where everyone was bored of the letter W. So... In case it goes completely over my head, why W? Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. So she's hungry, um, sleepy, and water. So she's hungry and thirsty, Mary Jane. Uh, so he is, to me, is just hungry. No, thirsty. She's just thirsty. Uh, he, Ted is okay. So hungry, thirsty, thirsty. Uh, hungry, thirsty, and thirsty. Hungry, thirsty, thirsty. Okay. We might need to go for another supply run and send Timmy out because he gets the best shit. We always steered away from casinos, gambling, dentons and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. Uh, he proposed a two water bottle bet. Okay, two water bottle bet. I've got enough waters, but we can bet it. Also, what happened in the previous video, we actually won that game and gained two bottles of water. We might have just won again. Yes! We won again. I don't know if it's chance or if it just happens. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. And she's no longer hungry. Thirsty. Uh, thirsty. Uh, and hungry. And hungry. So hungry, hungry, thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. It's about time we choose someone to scavenge the wasteland. Let's send Timmy with a gas mask. Is that a good choice? I'm going to actually send him with nothing. Let's send him with water. I've got enough water, so... Maybe we'll find some more. Day 29. We need a radio. Timmy went out. Mary Jane is uh, sleepy all the time. She has no energy for anything. Uh, Ted is no longer thirsty. Ted is hungry. And Dolores is good. So Ted is hungry. Cool. Mary Jane has been awfully silent. This is very unlike her. Should we try talking to her? Sure. What else can we do? I'm surprised they don't talk to each other often. I mean, what else do you do? Nothing solves problems better than an uh, honest conversation or a hot beverage. Uh, she's still tired. Let's give her some time to recover. Everyone has uh, to drink sometimes. And so she's hungry and thirsty. Nothing and nothing. Hungry, thirsty. There are... Di these are dire circumstances we found ourselves in. Supplies are running low and if we don't take care of ourselves, nobody else will. We know for a fact that w one of our neighbors had a shelter with a broken trap door and there might be some supplies. Should we pay them a visit? You know what, I've never gotten this scenario so I'm all for it. Hopefully we don't lose anyone. Hey, we got a map! Something good! We went, we got uh, what we needed and came back. We're sure that group will just will be just fine. We got a map. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, sleepy. So she's no longer anything that needs water and will not last without water. So they're both thirsty. Got you, fam. How about that uh, lake we've been going to for the past few years? It, sh it would be so good to find ourselves there. Okay. Far away from all the madness. Swim a little. Maybe take a boat ride. Even if the whole place turned... Atom. Are we going on a boat ride? And knock on the door. Let's see what's happening. We can't take our... We can take care of ourselves. Nothing. Nothing. She's hungry. Damn woman! We need to survive. Someone is at the door. We're a bit scared, but maybe it's a friendly face of an American soldier. Should we open? Haven't gotten this one. I love the new scenarios that comes in hand. Okay, no one is dead. Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch at, uh, as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Well, oh, she's she got shot. Shame, poor Dolores. 
When Mary Jane is tired, she becomes cranky. She should better. Uh, she should be better in a few days. Can we spare some water for Mary Jane? So thirsty was hurt. Shame. Thirsty and he's fine. So just thirsty. Okay, she's a she's a unit. Yesterday during charades, we learned that Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti dice. How to spell it? I don't even know how to say it. Anti dis is oh anti disestablishment terrorianism. Damn. <laughs> and it has left Dolores sorely disappointed. She insists on home or or rather shelter schooling Mary Jane. That's a good idea. <laughs> Might as well. Day thirty four. Timmy, is he back? He's not back. Dolores does not mess around. What started out as a spelling exercise has quickly found its way to a math revision, followed by a short physics course and ending on tinkering with random objects in the shelter. Mary Jane looks exhausted, but we can't deny the state of our shelter has improved today. Sleepy and nothing, okay? We're no doctors, but we should help Dolores. Her wounds are pretty bad. There has to be some water left for the Lord. So thirsty and thirsty. Can't help you. I'm sorry. If there is one person we truly miss, it's our great Uncle Terry. He used to tell brilliant stories about the turtles, elephants, and wizards. It would be so reassuring to hear one of those these stories again. Unfortunately, we didn't get the book. They should call this game uh, 60 seconds. Well, 70 seconds, I mean. Lots of knocking. And so we are left with no photos, no news, and no happy thoughts. The world is so cruel. So, hungry. So, Ted is hungry. Um, hungry and no longer thirsty. So, just hungry and hungry. Okay. Sorry, Dolores, we can't help you. The wasteland is full of surprises, like this man on the other side of our door, knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? Why not? Why not? What is the worst that can happen? Dates 36. Hey, Timmy is back and he got an axe. And he got a radio. Timmy is freaking insane. Timmy is insane. He might have just single-handedly saved everyone. Wow. We handed the ammunition. And, oh, he didn't get the radio. We gave the ammunition for a radio. We were so afraid for Timmy, but he came back. Theater means actors, and where you find actors, you can easily run into mimes. And so we approached the theater on our tiptoes, but in the end, we decided our need for supplies were greater than our fear of mimes. So we bravely went in to explore. This must have been one boring play if the only dr props being used were bottles. The scene was practically full for them. Thankfully, some had water in them. Three bottles of water, guys. Three bottles of water. We half expected the theater criteria cafeteria to be in a sorry state. Surprisingly, the atomic blast spared most of it and we were able to admire their selection of goods. It was very vivid. Small, medium or large cans of tomato soup. We felt large cans were meant for us. We got cans. We got cans. Next to the entrance, we found a glass case mounted on the wall. Inside was an axe and the sign said, Break glass in the case of an emergency. And I think we are in one. We're almost certain that the nuclear apocalypse constitutes us a little, at least a bit of emergency. It might be sound paranoid, uh, it might sound paranoid, but we think someone followed us. Let's just not let that happen again. Ted is hungry. Um, thirsty. So hungry, thirsty. Nothing. And very hungry and really tired. Hungry, thirsty, and hungry. Right? Ted's stomach is rumbling. Yeah, got it. Okay. I'm not gonna send anyone out now. Not this time. Some door to door salesman found his way to our shelter. We remember him from before the apocalypse. He came from a he came over with a bunch of leaflets and really tried to convince to convince us to join something called Astro Citizen, but we refused. Now he just wants supplies and he says he will reveal some state secrets to us in return. Is it worth it? How many waters? We have so much water. 
Tell us, tell us thy secrets. I don't see anything new. We are generous, so we shared our supplies with him. He tried to make us believe that America has a working space station in orbit. Or rather had, since according to that guy, it exploded when the bombs dropped. How convenient. A working space station? What a joker. He was probably so hungry, he dehydrated. Okay. That was useless. When Mary Jane is tired, she's cranky. And she would be better in a few days. Mary Jane is no longer thirsty. That's good. Dolores is hurt. Um, water is what she wants and has not eaten. So, hungry, thirsty. Hungry. So, Timmy is hungry and thirsty. So, hungry, thirsty, hungry, thirsty, thirsty. Hungry, thirsty. Hungry, thirsty, thirsty. Woo! I'm getting good at this. Let's send Ted out again. I don't want to send Dolores. We took some time examining our map and found it had some abnormal symbols scribbled in a few places. It appeared as if someone had hidden something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Bye, Ted. <laughs> Day 38. You don't realize how long that actually is. What did we find? Because it doesn't look like anything. Oh, we found a flashlight. Oh my gosh. We weren't sure if we would be able to find whatever was hidden by the author of the map directions. But soon enough, the, the pieces started coming together. After an hour of digging at the local park, or rather what was left of it, we came across a working flashlight. Just what we needed. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Except that she's sleepy, no energy. Nothing. Timmy should eat uh, and rest. So... Wait, what's that tip? No. To me, it's eat hungry. Just hungry, okay? No, uh, Dolores is no longer thirsty. No longer hungry. Has no colors uh, left in her face. Her injuries need to be fixed ASAP. So we're about to lose Dolores from a gunshot. So, he's, so to me, it's just hungry. This is bad, guys. Can we save anyone? You know what? Are we gonna send her out? She's almost. She's got a bloody leg. That's not gonna heal. So let's send her out with nothing. Sorry, babe. You got to go. Hopefully she comes back. She probably really won't. I just basically lost. Choose chose to lose someone. Mary Jane's still tired. Water is what she wants. Mary Jane wants water and. Uh, hasn't raised, uh, no longer hungry, Ted is fine, so Mary Jane just wants water. Gotcha, gang. Gotcha. We played a game of list of things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. That reminded us, us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. His safe contained a bomb, and then someone got sick. I'm not risking it. We're doing well, we're doing well. We decided against that risky endeavor, even if the safe is intact. The contents are probably as boring as uh, the waste of space or as Ned was. <sighs> Hungry, no thirsty. Uh, some water and... So thirsty, thirsty and Mary Jane is hungry. Hungry, thirsty, thirsty. I've got enough water bottles. Timmy got back to the shelter from his expedition and looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand. So... They heat up the axe and use that to like cover something, I don't know. Something is happening. The radio is ringing. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used again, but Timmy seems much better. So, still tired and no longer hungry and Timmy should need a bit more rest. No longer thirsty. And... He's hungry. Damn, these people keep eating. Shine your boots and hoist the flag. The army is on the radio again. They're telling us to get our flashlights ready to signal the aircraft. It'll be flying over. And what good timing. We have this. Can we make it out for the first time in uh, 60 seconds? I don't see anything happening. Everything was going as planned, but then the flashlight stopped working. We were lucky to get it fixed just in time to hear the distant roar of the plane's engines. We're pretty sure the pilot saw us. Let's see if they get back to us. Nothing. Can we spare some water? So she's thirsty. And... She's just thirsty. 
The last time we went out on an expedition, we noticed an abandoned tank just was sitting there out in the open. It looked damaged, but it may contain some useful, useful supplies. Ted is fine, so let's send Ted out. Come on, boy. Bring back them grub. Oh, he brought bullets. Okay, ammunition. Mary Jane is still tired. Let's give him time to recover. No, not thirsty. He's quite hungry. He needs a few days to rest. Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. And very hungry. Wait, do we only have these? Oh, we have all three. So, Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy is hungry. Uh, he's drink some, so he's also thirsty. And all that wishes for a drop of water. So, let's just give water to everyone. And feed Timmy. I don't know if I needed to feed someone else. Sleazy looking trader carrying an uh, equally scruffy bag on his shoulders paid us a visit. I'm not getting the cat this time. This is the one game I'm gonna play without Sharikov. Hey, she's back! She's sick, but she's back. She brought soup! Let's fucking go, family. Let's go. Our grandparents always told us to never buy anything sight in the scene, and we're not about to start now. We were glad to see Dolores came back. The nearby docks house some fancy looking boats. So she went to the docks again. We found a ca uh, soup can and cargo. What? She went docks, but no water. The nearby docks house some fancy looking boats. One of them managed to survive the tidal wave caused by the atomic blast. Well, kind of. It landed on our neighbor neighborhood's neighbor's house. It looked worth checking out. And we got one can of soup. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more careful. Mary Jane is quite hungry, uh, tired. I'm surprised she made it. So, she is hungry, tired, and has come down with the sickness. Dolores is not going to make it for long. Ted is no longer thirsty, and Timmy has rested and nothing. So, the, so Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty, right? Still is quite hungry. Mary Jane is just hungry, not eaten. Let's give her some water. We have enough. There you go, there you go. And Mary Jane, I keep forgetting. Uh, hungry, okay. Who's gonna go next? Are we gonna send someone? The army is coming soon. Hear that? Noises coming from below. This is probably the right time to check out the manhole in the corner. That one that's been locked there uh, ever since we got to the shelter. Let's see. Please don't let the light break. What was that? If we didn't have that flashlight, we'd probably be a meal for for something that was down there. We're not sure, but its eyes looked very reptilian. Very vicious and very, very hungry. Was that a dinosaur? Dolores would really love to eat something. We Okay, so she's hungry. Um, sickness, uh, colors, injuries, needs more time to rest. So she's just hungry. Ted is hungry. Mary Jane has raised her, no longer hungry, and despite the last circumstances, Timmy is being brave. So, the parents is hungry. We're running out of cans. We should send Ted in this case. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Supplies? Will the rats eat the cans of soup? Will I doom them? Let's shoot them. Let's shoot the rats. Boom. Ah! Yeah, she did not make it. Flip! Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Ted is hungry. Uh, so Ted needs water. Uh, isn't, isn't hungry. So Ted needs water. Uh, water, water. Suffer from injuries far too long. When the infected spread, there was nothing we could do. Damn. Sorry. Everyone wants water, and I've got everyone. Damn, we lost her. It's almost the perfect round. And we're setting out Ted. Let's use the gas mask. Frick! It's hard to get a perfect game in, the, in this game. Okay, so it's only the children left. Not thirsty, you could use food, and should eat. Traitor alert! Timmy salvaged! Comic books are mostly harmless science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the bravo, the brave, the bravo, 
Astro Citizen Program. So, Timmy, we should banish Timmy to the wasteland. We don't get rid of Timmy. Or is there something else that happens? Because I can't imagine sending him to the wasteland just sends him out. Oh my gosh. We graciously allowed Timmy to stay. Okay. No longer hungry. No longer hungry. Quick game. Quick game. We're not big fans of our strange smelling shelter. But we, when we started to smell something burning, we quickly realized how much uh, we prefer the nothing is on fire uh, scent it had before. A fire! We need to put it out. Let's save that. Because we do not have anything else. Day 49. Jeez. These people have been through a lot. That was close. We were able to put out the fire. And save. There are no firemen left. And we saved the radio. We should get Mary Jane something to drink and drink. They're obviously thirsty after that. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last long. They will definitely need to see a, a therapist or something. The children is left in the bunker with a dead mom. Look at this shit. Like, what? <laughs> We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope this doesn't happen again. And then, no, none of them are thirsty. A group of doctors knocked on the door today, requesting some supplies that we would be helpful in refilling their first aid kits. We didn't doubt that they were the real deal for a second. They did have lab coats. They're probably gonna ransack everything. Please don't take the kids. Please don't take the kids. Hey, Ted is back. The mask is back. I see more cans of soup. Let's go. Okay, so they were not doctors. Um, but we lost a bottle of water, which is fine. And Ted has come back from his voyage. We found the Tencent Hotel in ruins. But there was plenty to look through. Pieces of furniture, suitcases, and other hotel supplies were, were scattered all over the place. So we got a can of soup and we got an axe, which is amazing. It might sound paranoid, but we think someone might have followed us again. He's hungry and tired. Uh, very hungry. And there isn't much bothering Mary Jane. So, let's feed the boys. We were not certain about the situation on the surface. Who are we going to send out? If we're going to send out someone. Let's see what happens here. A trader. Offers one bottle of water in exchange for something else. I think we need to send someone out. Not that I want to, but anyway. We don't need water, so I'm not going to trade anything. Day 52. Almost, what, two months? Shit. I mean, shame, how much do you feel about her? But we got an axe. In the end, we decided her offer were not for us. Hungry, should drink something. So hungry, thirsty. Uh, food, and is very thirsty. And uh, Timmy is no longer hungry. But thirsty. So water for everybody. Hungry. Hungry. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface. Timmy did well the last time. Let's send him with... Let's send him with an axe. Can this game go on for like days and days by the way? Like in the game. Timmy went out to the wasteland. We don't know what we'll do if he doesn't come back. Ted is hungry. Isn't thirsty. It's no longer anything. So Ted is just hungry. Woo, we're running low. How about we pu uh, put that radio to good use? Let's do it. Day 54. Nothing happened. Once we had, we had, once had we waded through all the static, we found a transmission that was hosted by some nut talking about conspiracies and sorts of men from Mars. Okay, so that was useless. Ted is no longer hungry, he has rested, and Mary Jane is fine. These days are going quick now. Whoever designed this full of shelter was a genius, but we can't really tell if that green stuff dropping from the pipe is included, uh, included feature. We should probably try something different, something about it with whatever we brought down here. I hope they don't use the mask to stuff it. Nothing much. Ha! 
problem solved. No leak, no mess. Back to our tidy little shelter. Doesn't drink anything, so thirsty and thirsty. All thirsty. What is getting low for the first time in this game? The military is communicating through the radio again. We sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it turns out they need our help. The speaker regrets that all able citizens in this area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park. It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this will make it easier for them. Shit! And we had to send Timmy out with it. Really? I just want to like get everyone safe for the first time, although she's dead. We're not lumberjacks and we're not chopping down the park. That park. Maybe another time. Isn't thirsty. So he's hungry. Hungry. Damn. We're almost out of food. Sure time, times are hard and there isn't much, uh, much needed to shave anymore. I can't do that. Twice I needed that now. Twice I needed the freaking axe. No axe, no shave, maybe another time. No, uh, isn't hungry and no longer hungry. Our favorite radio station stopped broadcasting when we tried other frequencies. We found nothing but static. Are all of the stations gone? Maybe we should tinker with the radio's increases range. This is becoming difficult. Day 59. Come on, Timmy. Make it back. Make it back. They're probably hungry. Oh, they're nothing. The girls are very brave to walk around the wasteland like that. They Sadly, they didn't have anything of interest to us. After all the days we spend down here, we're not exactly clean. We smell bad, real bad. It didn't bother us until we noticed it. And we're not about to get sick. So why not take a shower? We don't have soap. But there are other alternatives to consider. This is something we can trade, but I don't want anyone else to get sick. Maybe I should have traded that other thing for the meds. Timmy is back, but I don't see food. He's, he brought the axe back. Please don't tell me he brought water. Let's see. Uh, after a bit of scouting, we arrived at a city hall. Half of it was still standing. He brought water. Shit. One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water with a mop standing in it. We managed to fill some bottles with the contents of the bucket. It does look a bit funny. We just hope it doesn't taste of soap or something worse. Water. Oh, we got to make it. I didn't see that. That's great. Um, Timmy should eat. He didn't bring food. Shit. We have to send someone out now. At breakfast, we heard a knock on the door. It was a man with a rather excessive number of arms. He had told us his group was having a hard time finding supplies, whatever they could they they go wherever they go they got shot at first sight and asked questions later it's probably because of their appearance the friendly mutant presented us with an offer in exchange for some supplies his folk were, uh, would escort us on our next expedition and make sure we come back safely let's try it i don't know <laughs> we gave water so that's gonna happen on our next expedition we were, relieved when, uh, we were relieved when the man assured us that uh, his condition is not contagious. We gladly took his offer and were actually looking forward to our next expedition. Shit! So everyone is thirsty. Let's send out Mary Jane. This is becoming worrisome. Um, Mary Jane went outside, let's hope she hurries back soon, isn't thirsty and is no longer thirsty, just hungry. Just when we thought we might have a quiet day, we got invaded. The group of bandits is on the other side of the door, demanding we, uh, we walk out hands in the air. Let's use the lock. Let's lock the shelter. Defend yourself without a weapon. We didn't have much for them to take, so it's fine. We didn't think that a small padlock would stop them, but it turned out to be enough to discourage the unknown attackers. It seems that like they gave this whole break in a fair shot. So, lost that. We're able to flight off the bandits this time, but there's no guarantee that they will be back. We need to be prepared at all times. Everyone is hungry, but are they thirsty? I don't see so. 
It's difficult to keep track of the time down here, but at least we remember it's Timmy's birthday. He's growing so fast. What should we give, him, get him? Something every boy wants for his birthday. Which birthday? Which birthday is this again? So let's go with checkers. We'll give him a checkers board. Shit. When we're talking, when we were taking cover in the shelter, we barely had the time to grab anything. So the checkers, uh, so the checkers set is missing half of its pieces. It seems. You can still play with the, the one half since Timmy has been enjoying himself. Um, water and water. They might not survive it. How about we put that radio to good use? Let's do it. I'm literally just waiting for something to happen in terms of the military. Like, it doesn't seem like they're coming. Excuse me, wait, what? Soup? Some friendly someone on the radio was talking about a supply pack he, uh, she'd lost during a trip through our town. We immediately realized she must have driven through this, our street. We rushed out and got the package before anyone else. Oh, we saved! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No longer thirsty. Timmy is no longer thirsty. Food for everybody! The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but we need to cut down trees. I almost click next. Let's see what happens. Give and get back. She's sick, and I don't see anything else. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it will make the difference they wanted. So nothing made us happier than the side of Mary Jane. Our new, mu new mutated friend kept his word. He brought a new few friends along. We even had a bit of fun during the trip, and most importantly, everybody came back. Safe and sound. We say we wave them goodbye, hoping to see them again someday. So, if it wasn't for them, she might have gotten lost. And this was a quick expedition. Only a handful of buildings in our town survived the blast wave. One of them was the local bus station. It used to be the central hub for bums and vagabonds. Okay, I've, re I've read this. Our local athletics team was preparing to depart for, uh, for a championship. So what did we get? Two water bottles. I can only feed two. So I'll feed you. Cure you. Waterfall. Timmy should eat something. Let's just... F s screw Timmy. <laughs> Let's send him out again. We just have to keep sending people out. Oh dear, we just remembered we plan on taking a trip uh, south in two months. If it's still there, we are going. What? We're pretty sure. Okay, you're not going anywhere, except if the military actually comes. <laughs> she should be better. She's better, let's go. And we're sending out Ted again. We can make it work even uh, in Toronto. Question is, how do we find a boat to get there? We heard that that's the best way to get to Europe. Wait, what? Needs a bit of, a bit longer. Needs a rest, a can of soup. So he's just hungry. Can't feed anyone, this is bad. Let's just actually give everyone water just because we freaking can. Let's send you out with the uh, playing cards. Shit, man. I'm really surviving this. Ted left. Not looking good. Um, Timmy. Falling asleep. Nothing with Timmy. I'm just skipping through these because uh, nothing is really happening. We had some spare ammunition, but now it's gone. We don't know how or when. It must have been misplaced. We need to find it. Please don't break. Please don't break. Please don't break the, 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 the flashlight. Damn! 69 days it didn't break. And no can of soup. But we found it ammunition. Whoo! No one is thirsty. It's hard being down here, living here. We need to make the best of it or else. We might find ourselves in even more trouble. Holy crap. 70 days. Damn. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like this. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness into our life. Uh, water and water. Finally, they need to drink something. All hands on deck. There are people on the other side of the door and they don't seem too friendly. So, bam, bam. Let's shoot them. Nothing happened. And the gun is still intact. 
We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? That spare ammo we, we brought came in handy. So we used the ammo. So it needs food. Starving. No longer thirsty. No longer thirsty. Come on, Ted. Our situation is getting worse every day. We can see the hunger and desperation in each other's eyes. We know a teacher from a, school, a local school rescued a bunch of kids when the bomb fell. We also know what kind of supplies are in the school shelter as part of the community. We s helped stock, stock it for an emergency. So technically, there's, uh, they're, they are ours, right? Should we reclaim? We should reclaim. <clears throat> Ooh. I just hear, heard a clap. We had no idea that they installed some kind of an alarm system around the shelter door. As soon as we tried to open it, we were jumped and attacked with loose bricks and map pointers. I don't see any bandages. There were way too many adults. We were expecting just one teacher, but it turns out they left the children behind to make space for themselves. Bunch of bitches. We are appalled. Those terrible, terrible teachers. Come on, Ted! We've been hearing a lot of noises coming from our neighborhood today. Our guess is that there was a zoo escape and the animals are stumbling out there. Let's send Timmy out, but she will die, so let's send her out. <laughs> That's so terrible. Guys, stay, stay 73. We got soup! Haha! -ha! Oh, yes! Thank God. Timmy need, uh, died needs food and water. Food and water for everybody! Nice Mary Jane. We know there's a group of bandits come uh, camped near our shelter where we were not, uh, but we are not exactly powerless. With a bit of luck and force, we may, we may, we, maybe we can show them that we're not to be trifled with. We can't just murder them all, but it's worth a try. We're gonna go murder bandits? Oh, and the gun is gone. We won the battle! These bandits were no match for us. We quickly overpowered them and forced them out of the camp. Damn! The children are Gucci! I think he's sick. Shit! Mary Jane is starving. Uh, no longer thirsty. Timmy needs that. Timmy fell sick. Shit. So all of them are just hungry. When attempting our, uh, emptying our bucket in front of the shelter, we discovered a ha uh, ha hastily drawn map on one of the ruined walls. Someone drew out a route and marked a spot uh, at the end of it. Maybe there are supplies hidden there. Should we check it out? Let's send out Timmy. Come on. Food, 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 food. Food, a book, an axe. Oh my God, and the guy's back. Let's go. Ah, oh, we're saved. The treasure hunt actually turned out to be fun, despite taking place uh, in a radioactive dump. That is our town. More importantly, though, it was successful and we managed to find a small package. Whatever is in it will definitely prove useful. An axe. Ted has returned safely <laughs> with the playing cards. The silent wasteland had at least one resident who managed quite well. It was a proud-looking monkey. So the monkey got the food... Um, and we got a book, handbook as a, uh, as a prize. So Ted is hungry, food. Mary Jane has rested, could use food. So everyone needs food. What? It doesn't go on. Interesting. Food for everyone. We send someone else. We just need to keep going. Bandits are at the door, promising uh, us the worst fate we can imagine. Defeat three bandits attacks in one game. Holy shit. The axe is gone. Now we have nothing. We were able to fight off the, ba uh, the bandits this time, but there is no guarantee they won't come back. We need to be prepared at all times. Ted's stomach is rumbling, so Ted is hungry. And w so hungry, thirsty... Uh, Mary, uh, Mary Jane could use a little food. So, Hungry Thursday, Hungry th I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna, like, give every, everyone everything. We've been preparing for this expedition. Are we gonna send out Mary Jane or Timmy? You know what? We need supplies. MVP to me. You know what, send them out with nothing. Actually, water. Come on, Timmy. Day 77. 
This is the longest game I have played of 60 seconds. We got a visit from a person with a physical mutation. He managed to grow several extra fully operational hands. He shared the story of his, uh, uh, of his group with us. People with other deformities who despite the circumstances, circumstances remain friendly and struggle to gather supplies. Whatever they, wherever they go, people just shoo them away in fear of getting sick. He promises that if we give them supplies, his group will get us a, a rid of bandits next time they bother us. I would say that's worth it. Definitely, because we don't have a weapon. It feels good to have some friends in the cruel, empty wastelands. Yes, it does. No longer hungry, has rested, and... Everyone's fine. This is going so great. You would expect that the post-apocalypse uh, to be a time of peace and quiet since you know most of the people are, are, aren't around anymore. Yet, here we have someone at the door. We opened it up. We encountered a strange looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What, is in the, what the hell is that? I think I've done this before and basically he didn't give us shit and we lost a bottle of water. So you get nothing. Can we survive actually a hundred days? Because clearly I can't, I can't keep everyone alive. We're sorry to explain that we didn't know what a water chip was and that uh, we didn't have one. He thanked us in a few short words and left. Ted needs water to survive and getting something to drink. So everyone wants water. Okay. Bandits are at the door promising us the worst fate. But the other people said that they would help us. So please help us. Don't take Mary Jane. It's hard to tell who was more surprised, us or the bandits on the other side uh, of, the, of our door. When our mutated friends jumped out at, uh, of their hiding spot, spots and came to our aid, they quickly forced the raiders to retreat. Helping the mutant group was a good idea. Let's do it. Let's go! We were able to defend our home this time. What if they come back? Ted isn't thirsty anymore. Ted is hungry. So they're all hungry. What's happening? I think the game is going on too long and the, the game is starting to like bug out. It's been a while, but there was another message from the military on the radio. They want us to send one person out to meet them. It sounds like some kind of a precaution or a trick. We hope we don't, uh, we know what we're doing. This might be it. Nothing happened. We made it to the meeting. The serious looking soldier asked us a few questions, made some notes and told us they would get back to us. We can only hope we made a good impression. Too bad our Sunday best didn't make it through the explosion. Ted is no longer hungry and no longer hungry. Oh my goodness. As we were about to start our book club for the uh, club discussing on the only book we've all read. The phone book. We were interrupted by a rap. What? What? Oh, the phone book. We were interrupted by a rapid knocking on the door. We found out it was a group of refugees who survived the blast just like we did. They were doing much worse than us and begged us to provide them with any water, food or medical supplies we could use. If we don't do this, they will ransack us. I'm giving my last bit a radio. No more water, guys. Our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after the 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 glad. They left soon af after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hopefully they made. Uh, we hope they made it there. Now everyone is thirsty. Come on, guys. At least I at least I have a little bit of water left. How about we put that radio to good use? Isn't thirsty and is no longer thirsty. We were able to tune into some survivalist lady who was hosting a let's use a program. A let, hosting a let's use program. She was evaluating a rifle she obtained just before the bomb fell. It turned out it was a similar to ours and with her tips we were able to repair it. We got it, we got it back. We've been hearing strange noises lately. Uh, is it coming from the outside or is it something that came into the shelter with us? Could it be? We found nothing. We feel like we might be going crazy. We should probably get busy with something to keep us occupied before it gets worse. Play cards. Uno. <sighs> having some fun. Uh, having some fun made us forget about what was it again? Timmy can can. 
sneak like a secret. Oh no, he's not coming back. Food. Shit. This is bad. We have to send someone out. A gang of thoughts started banging on our door, ordering us to surrender and give up, give up all of our supplies. Thank God we got the, the gun. Day 85! Okay. We were able to defend our our home this time. What if they come back? If they doesn't drink anything and is no longer hungry but is thirsty. Let's send out Mary Jane. With nothing. Isn't this and the radio and that supposed to be like helping us get out? Rumbling. His stomach is rumbling. I can feed him. Looks like the that rock we got from the old man a while ago really does bring luck. Jim visited us again today, but instead of rocks, he was carrying a big bottle of clean, fresh water. We don't know where he got it, but we were pleased when he shared some some with us. It should keep us all hydrated for... Uh, so we got some water. That's good. I just need to do what I can to survive a hundred days. Hungry. Oh, that's a useless offer. Holy shit. <laughs> It was hard to turn her down because of that damn cheerfulness, but it, but we did it anyway. No longer hungry and he's thirsty. Timmy's not coming back and I think we sent out Mary Jane. This is the end! We got raided at the end? Again? And we survived for how long? Did I miss something the previous day? I think I just like skipped through it. So many days. 88 days! Oh, he made it? They survived 89! 21 waters consumed, 18 soups consumed. We defended the base 5 times. We brought 29 successful expeditions, 9 out of 10. Wow. Wow! Ed End Adventure. What an absolute monster of a game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was the longest survival game of 60 seconds that I've ever played. But it was so much fun and a little bit stressful because I really thought we'd make it. But holy shit, we lost the Loras very early. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment down below if you're enjoying this game. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let's go! Yeah.